we are studying potential due to dipole and the point we have taken is neither on the axial line nor on the equatorial line it is at any place how do we define that any place if this is the point we define that this point is at a distance r from dipole and when we say distance then we have to measure it from the center point c now this position vector r which is towards the m makes an angle theta with the dipole moment dipole moment has a direction from minus to plus so this is direction of the dipole moment and this point m is at an elevation of theta from direction of dipole moment theta okay and how much is the distance r this is the two specification of this what are the specification r and theta position vector angle of elevation okay now we want to find out what is the potential there due to this dipole and this dipole has a dipole moment which is equal to 2q into l now to find out the potential we have the formula for one point charge here is one point charge plus q because of this it will have certain uh, potential what is that potential so i will write it here potential due to plus q is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon the distance bm bm potential due to minus q is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon position a to n am this is the distance okay now i want to have the total potential this has got sign minus so i will put sign minus here here that will transfer at this point okay now if i want to add then bm and am i will have to modify them so how i convert them into terms of r i draw a perpendicular from this place on position vector r so uh, let us say this point is m normal okay i also draw a normal on extended r and let us say this point is q hmm. right now here i want to tell you how do we find the difference between two lines if i have two lines which are quite long like this and another is like this and they make a very small angle and i ask you that what is the difference of length between the two there is one method you count this total length you count this total length and do the subtraction then you will find how long is one line with respect to the other there is another method which is much easier method because this line may be very very long a few kilometer then what will you do there is a very simple method these two ends are approachable by s from this point to this point i will draw a perpendicular 90 degree and i will measure this this is the difference between length of the two okay this angle is so small this is so small that it is almost approaching zero and sum of the three angle is 180 so these two if this is approaching zero then these two are approaching 90 90 if these are almost equal then these two sides are equal if these two sides are equal then from this point what is the difference between these two up to this up to this these two are equal this is the extra length this line is having and that is what i am searching for so extra length is always in physics we will use draw a perpendicular this portion will become equal and this is our extra length so here i want to find out extra length between cm and bm so i draw a perpendicular here this is perpendicular 
Now I say what is the extra length Cn. Okay, how much is Cn? So I draw this triangle here. Okay, this is right angle 90 degree, this is theta, this is L, this is Cn. Now Cn upon L. Cn upon L is cos theta. For theta, this is base, this is hypotenuse, this is perpendicular. So Cn upon L is equal to cos theta. So Cn is equal to L cos theta. So this length is L cos theta. I will write it here L cos theta. Similarly, if this is angle theta, this is also angle theta and this length is again L cos theta. Now, BM, how it is related to R? From this place to this place, distance is R. Decrease it by L cos theta and that will become equal. This will become equal. So, MB is approximately equal to MN and that MN is equal to total R minus L cos theta. So, here BM I can write as total length R minus L cos theta. This is for BM. Okay. This is V for plus Q. Now, how much is this V? 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon AM. A M. This A M, this is perpendicular. So A M is equal to M Q and this M Q is equal to up to this it is R plus this L cos theta. So this is R plus L cos theta and the total this potential is negative. So this is negative and this becomes plus minus. This gives the net potential V. That's all. Now, we do certain simplification and this Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught is common. Rest is mathematics. This is 1 upon R minus L cos theta minus 1 upon R plus L cos theta. This is equal to Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught take LCM, this is R square minus L square cos square theta. Here this will be R plus L cos theta minus R and this minus minus plus L cos theta. And this is equal to now R and minus R are cancelled. What we get 2 L cos theta 2. So Q into 2 into L into cos theta. This is to be divided by 4 pi epsilon naught and this is R square minus L square cos square theta. So this is equal to 2 Q L is equal to P. So we can write it P cos theta. This is 4 pi epsilon naught into R square minus L square cos square theta. Now if we say that L is very small compared to R, then we can always neglect L square cos square theta and the formula again it will reduce to a very simple formula that potential due to dipole V is equal to P cos theta that is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught P upon here it will be R square multiplied by cos theta. Simple. So this is our general formula for any point. Can we have a test? Answer yes. We can have a test of it. We know the results for Excel and for equatorial. If we convert it into Excel, theta will become 0. Put it 0. So, cos 0 is equal to 1 and we get a formula Vxl is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught 
P upon R square and we know it is correct. Okay, for equatorial line, V equatorial, theta is equal to 90. If theta is equal to 90, this whole thing will become 0. So this fits in, theta is equal to 0, XL equatorial and this is our general formula for this. So this is potential due to dipole. So potential due to dipole, at which position dipole do not make any potential? Answer on any point on its equatorial line, it has no potential. Is the electric field there zero? Answer no, electric field has a value, we have done it. So electric field will be there, but potential will not be there. Now this makes a question again, do you know any point where you have electric field, but you don't have potential? Answer is yes, that is an equatorial line between a dipole. On that line, electric field do exist, but potential do not exist and potential there is zero. This is how questions are made. So if your study is thorough, if you know each and every in your lecture, then you can answer any type of question. Thank you.